Hey guys, how are we doing? Uh, welcome back to another Python tutorial. And next, we're going to be checking out the rotate function in the PIL, or the Python image library. So, this is very simple. It just takes, actually, our image that we're, the object we're working with, and the function is just called, plain and simple, rotate. It does take an angle now. Now, angles in um, the Python image manipulation library and in the image library actually work as typically you'd expect them to. They're given in degrees. It's interesting though that the zero degree is in the positive x direction though, like as if you were facing to the east. And the angle increases counterclockwise, so you know, opposite from a clock, it's going to move up rather than down. And the usual Cartesian convention, but like, to give an example, like, angle 45 points northeast, and angle 90 points north. Does that make sense? So let's move this 45 degrees. And now let's go ahead and show it. If I can type today, run this, and here is it. Here is our rotated image. You can see, though, everything that is not um, actually being rotated that's part of the picture is going to be black. All pixels that are not covered by the rotation of the original image are set to black. So, uh, let's take a look at it 90 again. That'll keep all of the colors to be white, but it'll also look really, really strange. <laughs> it's rotating a different way because, I mean, it's a square. So, let's work through an interesting problem here. Let's say we wanted to keep it at 45, but let's say we had all this black stuff that we didn't want, we wanted to replace that color with white. So, now this is the time where I was telling you we're going to work with get data. So, color to find, we know we have RGB values, 0, 0, 0, 0, and color to replace it with is going to be white, 255, 255, 255, 255. So that works well for us. We've got some variables set up. And now let's get um, the contents. So for color in the list of our images get data, what we want to do is test if that color is equal to the color to find that we want to um, replace it with the color to replace. While we're doing this though, we're essentially creating a new image. So, new image data can be a list of just about nothing right now. So, if the color is what we're looking for, then we're going to want to replace it. So, new image data we can append on there an array form of the color to replace it with. If not, in an else statement, let's say the new image data can add on the color that we've found. So now we can build a new image. And we do that from data, I believe. From data is a function that, uh, let me double check actually, let me, from data. All right, my mistake. The function that we're looking for is called from buffer. Now, this creates an image out of the pixel that we create with the data that we've supplied already. So, it's actually like get data, it will read data from another image. Now, we're actually going to create an image with the data that we've had. So, we can say image dot from buffer. Now, this takes a mode, of course, and it's going to be it should be the same as the image that we're working with. So, here's a new thing I can show you guys. Image.mode is, of course, going to return the image of the current mode that we're working with. And size, we can say image.size. We've already set that to be size, though. We don't have to read it again. Our variable's up here. And the data can be new image data. So, new image can equal this. So, if we want to actually 
work through the image though once it's been rotated we actually have to rotate it before we start looking through it and let's set it um, let's set a rotated image to equal what this is returned and let's look through the rotated image get data so here's our new image so we can hopefully show the new image without a problem so we can delete the new image the image that we had and the rotated image all at the same time and let's try this nope I am getting a problem alright let's see what we got here so from buffer isn't working out the way that we want it to and thinking rationally it may not be a great idea to completely create a new image but just model why don't we recreate we don't need to create a new image just actually modify the rotated image file so here I can show you a different function um, put data and I believe that will take only the data yes put data will only take the new image data so new image data and we can show that rotated image so now let's get rid of this new image deletion and now we'll run it and alright now we have our uh, our rotated python symbol with the black all gone it looks kinda like a swastika <laughs> alright well uh, there it is rotate function and um, removing some colors just by simply looking through the get data and building a new image or at least modifying the image with what we had processed so cool uh, thanks for putting up with me through this video uh, I know I didn't really have the greatest uh, functions to use but it's it's working now and I hope you enjoy it so thanks again guys and I hope to see you in the next tutorial